Hi, this is Brian Reese from your Dye Sublimation Station in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today we're going to talk about how to sublimate mugs. And right now you see on the screen a few that I've done in the past. I'm going to show you how to get yours to look just as beautiful as those. First thing you need to do is have a printer and a computer program. And then set up your graphics design and print it out on sublimation paper. Once you've printed it out on sublimation paper, you take it to your second station, which is my station, where you have your mug, you have your heat wrap, you have your uh, paper, you have everything set up so that when you get there, all you need to do is go ahead and it makes it a lot easier to put the sublimation paper onto the mug and then get everything set up all at one time. You're not running from station to station. Go ahead and wrap the paper around the mug, make sure that it's nice and even, and also make sure that it's right side up. Double check that it's right side up because it's not, you can't go back and erase it. Once it's done, it's done. Let's go ahead and set that up. Then use your heat tape to go ahead and secure the sublimation paper to the mug to make sure that it does not move and also to make sure that it stays put. You want to make sure that it is secure enough so that it doesn't move because if it moves, then it will mess up your image and your image that is messed up will also show up on your mug and that will destroy the mug. So you take your insert paper and put it on top of the heat wrap. You wrap the wrap around the mug and then secure it. That gives you enough and provides you enough pressure to go ahead and hold in all of the gases. The paper is so that in case something leaks, it doesn't get onto your wrap. Then you take your cup, your mug, and your wrap, and then you place it inside of the oven, but make sure that it's secure and make sure that you've already preheated your oven to 400 degrees. And once you place it in, it's okay to put it in without gloves on, but when you take it out, make sure you have your heat gloves on, because okay? it's going to be very, very hot. Now this is the result. Once you've sublimated, once you pulled it out and let it cool down, if you set it on something metal, it'll cool down faster. You can also use a fan, a heat fan, not a heat fan, but a fan to cool it down also. So this is what you get when you take your time and do it right. This is Brian Reese with the Dye Sublimation Station here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Until next time, have a great day.